I just want to take this opportunity to thank the people of Michigan who kind of repudiated the polls. They did repudiate the polls. Bernie Sanders was down in every Michigan poll in some by as many as 20 points, but he still pulled out a win last night. But Hillary Clinton trounced him in Mississippi, so she actually picked up more delegates last night than Sanders did. Now, the loss in Michigan could be a bad sign of things to come. Hillary lost the white working class vote by a wide margin. And with states like Ohio and Illinois on the schedule next week and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania right around the corner, those states could potentially spell some trouble for Hillary Clinton. And Costas, let me, how should we interpret the loss from Hillary Clinton in Michigan last night? Is it a Bernie Sanders win or a Hillary Clinton loss? Did voters vote for Bernie or against Hillary? Well, I think it was more of an anti-Hillary than a pro-Bernie. I mean, Bernie has a lot of support, but there's clearly something going on in the Democratic Party right now where the voters want to send a message, and I think that they're really trying to send a message to Hillary Clinton. Maybe the message is you need to pay attention to the issues that Bernie's talking about. These are important to us. Uh, they really matter, and you've got to be paying more attention. And it's not just uh, it's not just white you know white men. It's independents in particular who went for Bernie in Michigan by quite a large margin. Uh, yesterday and that spells trouble potentially for subsequent primaries but also in the general election as well she's got to find a way to get those back in to the Hillary camp and also uh, I think Bernie made some inroads with minority voters particularly uh, young African Americans who also supported him by uh, more than they had in previous races Dominic has Hillary just not co-opted Bernie Sanders's message well enough or are there real issues here particularly about trust where she trust, should have a look at. Trust is always an issue when it involves a Clinton, and it's something that's going to be right back around in terms of the general election. Should she ultimately be the nominee? I believe she's definitely going to be the nominee. But I, I just say this as it relates to Michigan slow down. There are signs, we agree that there are signs, troubling signs for her. But I want you to keep this in mind. I remember being in the state of Michigan, the 88 campaign. Guess who won the Democratic primary? I know. Reverend yeah. Jesse Jackson. Reverend Jesse Jackson. So, so let's just slow down. Michigan sometimes has a way of going against the grain. So let's just slow down. But there are some signs. I don't know, and I shouldn't repeat it, not knowing if it's fully accurate. But there's a report out there that Bernie Sanders outspent her in terms of television in Michigan by a half a million dollars. How could that be? I mean, you, she can't, I know she, as she has said herself, she wants to pivot towards Trump, but be careful making that turn because you, you may fall into a crack in the ground. She's got to be careful. Well, to be fair, I mean, this was do or die for Bernie Sanders last night in Michigan. Yes. I think he yes. put all the eggs in the Michigan basket and it paid off in a it huge sure way. It sure and, and incidentally, Clinton, I think, could have campaigned more widely in that state. I think mm -hmm. they put all their mm -hmm. eggs in the Detroit area basket and they didn't go branch out too far the beyond state. that. Yes. And they could have probably cut into his support in other areas if they spent just a little time reaching out to those communities and they really didn't. So, you know, uh, they say they're not taking any voter for granted, but they may have actually done that in Michigan, and I think it was to their detriment last night. Tom, if a Republican's going to win in November, they're going to have to poach a couple of states in the Midwest. I mean, you look at the map, you could do it with Florida and Pennsylvania, but Ohio, Michigan. How, how energized should Republicans be seeing Hillary's difficulty in Michigan last night? Well, I, I think that if we had the right nominee, I, I don't think it would be a close election, quite frankly. Uh, Trump poses a real problem for us. The, I disagree with Costas, is that on, on the, the vote last night, that was a Bernie vote. And the you reason it was pro-Bernie, not anti hillary yeah, And the reason you, you see that is, is you look at the polling, is that what wasn't polled was the pro-Bernie, these new people, these younger people who came out with a real fervor that they, they felt angry about something. What they also didn't realize is that a lot of last night in this, what bodes, you know, is a problem, I think, for Kasich in Ohio, possibly, is that the, 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 the vote that, that, you know, is where are we on the trade, right? The, the, the Midwest trade vote, the free trade stuff, that's a Trump-Bernie vote. They're both getting that group, and that, that group came out of Michigan. Does that translate now to Ohio? Does it translate to Illinois, to all of the Midwestern mm -hmm. states? That is a potential problem. Hillary is running clearly a more general election. She's looking ahead right now. There's no way that she doesn't get the nomination, but last night she shouldn't have lost Michigan. The reason I suggest that it may have been more of an anti-Hillary than a pro-Bernie vote is because all the polls going into this showed, as you pointed out, a Hillary advantage by huge margins.
And then you had that debate in which she was somewhat disingenuous about how she presented his vote on the bailout, uh, the auto bailout package. And I think that that turned a lot of people off. It may have made the difference last night. And I think that even though we don't have evidence because we didn't poll and ask about it, I think that there were a lot of Hillary supporters who probably mm -hmm. changed their mind or just opted out at the last minute and didn't vote, partly on the basis of claims that were made in that debate. So I think that may have a lot the, to do with it. The reason I disagree is that if you look in Nevada, he is, po he is under polled consistently and at the last minute his vote has come out for him. Yeah. One more question while we're focusing on the Democrats here. And, and we look at the black vote in Mississippi and in Michigan last night. Sanders did better in M Michigan got destroyed among African-American voters in Mississippi and throughout the entire South. And Dominic, I apologize for bringing this question right to you first. But why, okay. why doesn't Bernie Sanders connect with black voters? That, well, one, you can't say that the entire black community is just Obviously not, but I'm looking at the numbers, and the numbers well, are tilted that, heavily towards Hillary Clinton. Uh, that, for the same reason why Bill Clinton was referred to himself and others called him the first black president. The Clintons have a long, rich history. There's a reason why Hillary Clinton is going around the country with mothers of alleged police brutality victims. Yep. There's a reason for that. Because if she energizes the black, if she can just tap into what Obama brought to the table, 08, 12, then, then this, this won't be a contest Are you at suggesting all. that she's selling better to black voters? She's presenting herself better to black voters there, than Bernie there, is? There, there's a rich history, and black folks, based on polling, just seem to like her better than Bernie Sanders. But, but, but look at the answer to the last debate, right? Her answer was exactly what Dominic said, you know, talking about the Trayvon Martin's mothers, et cetera, feeling the pain of, of being, you know, in the African-American community, going through the hardships, where Bernie's answer was, as white people, we never grew up in a ghetto. He, he just didn't get it, right? I, I mean, so there's a connection there. They've had a connection for a very long time. They're trusted by the African-American community. Bernie, let's not forget, Bernie might have the right messaging. That's why Spike Lee is on board. There's others on board, right? But remember, where's he from? Vermont. <laughs> Not a huge African-American population in Vermont, right, Dominic? I mean, you have a house up there, yeah, but yeah. most people don't. All right, we'll leave it there. We're going to take a break. When we come back, the rise and fall of Marco Rubio. How did the Florida senator fall so far so fast? Stay with us.